What's up everyone? Press here. I have a Mac video tutorial and this is on a the best video converter that well, in my opinion is the best. But uh, this is I found to be the fastest and easiest. To download this you just go into the description and click that link. The software is free so you don't have to pay any money. It's a SourceForge link so just go here it'll start downloading and it will be done. Just gonna delete that. Okay, once it's done, you can exit out, and you will be an uh, icon like this. You can drag it to your desktop, and it says Video Monkey. You see Monkey and uh, sh uh, like a movie script. Go ahead and launch that up. You see the nice interface, and basically what you do here, you're going to go ahead and drag your movie. Oh, mine's in here. Not bad. Not bad. Press play. Okay. we we'll just drag that movie in here and then so it's selected after that you want to see what device you want to convert to now basically this is the Apple devices all Apple devices iPods iPhones iPod touches and Apple TVs now this is the main converter for Mac because if you have a Mac most likely you have an iPod or iPhone or Apple touch or Apple TV either one so select your device I'm just gonna do iPhone just because I have one <coughs> And then once movie selected, you see quality. Wi-Fi is the best. That's what you have to keep it on. If you go edge, that's basically it's a bit off. I think the audio is like nine, and the quality, uh, and the video is probably like eight or nine. I'm not sure. The edge is really bad. It's like audio, video, like seven. So that's not clear. Wi-Fi, as you can see, the uh, bit uh, bit rate for and uh, size change as whatever quality if you go go nuts you see the file size is over here is about 1.2 gig and if you go down to Wi-Fi it's a reasonable size about almost 500 meg so keep it up oh, Wi-Fi that's the best quality and uh, make sure this is selected and the encoding which is a converting fa uh, converting converting uh, speed you want it fastest and then that's about it Add to iTunes after because you want to play sync it with your iPod, and then go ahead and hit start. If you want, you can go ahead and hit this, and it'll show you the movie. And uh, that's about the basic steps you need. And after you hit start, at the bottom right here, it says starting file one, and right here you see you see the application and a um, bar. That's basically your process bar. It will be blue uh, as the time passes. So as you see right here, this is a 456 uh, megabyte file, and it's gonna say the remaining time in a few seconds. So about 20 minutes. This uh, about I'll say round it up to 500. This 500 meg file will be done in 20 minutes. So I've tried under other converters um, that are priced, and uh, they take about three hours or at least one hour this takes about 20 minutes to like 10 minutes if you have a hundred let's say 200 meg file that will take about six minutes to convert fully to be done and it'll add it to wherever your destination you took it from and then it'll just go ahead and add it to iTunes well that's it for this video guys just telling you how fast this converter is how cool it is so go check it out I recommend if you convert videos and go check the software out. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.